Hi, so this is a topper review about the new John Renault Top Smart Topper 12 inch in the color Toffee Truffle, which is also called FS6 slash 30 slash 27. It is a great medium brown to dark brown topper with these fantastic, beautiful caramel blonde highlights all the way through that come all the way up to the root. Uh, this is not a rooted topper, um, so if you are looking for a rooted topper, make sure you pay close attention to that. I do want to start this video off that I am in no way uh, affiliated with or paid by John Renault or where I purchased this topper from, which is Wig Studio One. Um, I will leave a link in the description as well as some uh, codes that you can use in order to get some 30% off if you do choose to buy from Wig Studio One. But I did just want to start off and just let them let you know this is not a paid promotion or anything. I did purchase this. This is my own topper. Um, so a topper, if you're not familiar with it, it's not a wig. Uh, it is made out of synthetic hair, so this is not human hair. This is synthetic. Um, but it is not a full wig. It clips into your bio hair and is meant to integrate with your own bio hair. Um, bio hair being your natural hair, which is what you see down here. Um, this particular topper is new to John Renault. Um, and what's new about it is this lace front. So as you can see right here, my bio hair is underneath. This lays in front of, all the way up at the front of my hairline, um, to create a new hairline because I have... Um, a lot of hair loss right at the front, right here on my crown and my part, which you'll see when I take it off. Um, but the purpose of this, and I can get, ooh, the sun's getting me. Um, but you can get right up close, and it's meant to create its own natural hairline. So you can't tell that it's not my hair. So this is the first lace front topper by John Renault that they put out, which I think they did a fantastic job. It's great. It's beautiful. Um, this, like I said, this one is a 12-inch version. It also comes in an 18 inch version. Uh, it has a monofilament top, which mimics the scalp. Sorry, it's not very parted very well. I just got it. Um, but this mimics your scalp. Um, so you can part it anywhere you want. You don't have to have a part. You can have a left hand side, right hand side, whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, and yeah, or you could just have no part at all. So you could pull it all the way back like this. Um, and you would be able to have like a little poof here if you wanted it move the part entirely, whatever you want it to do. So it's a very good quality lace front topper. I do recommend if you are going to pull it all the way to the front, like I have, that you get some wig tape. Um, I have some wig tape here. Sorry, the sun's getting me in the eyes. Um, I have some wig tape here. This is what I currently use. Uh, it's double-sided tape. It's completely clear. You can get this on Amazon. Uh, it's Walker Tape Lace Front Hair Tape System. Uh, this goes directly to the underside of your wig or your lace front. You're going to attach it to the skin, not the hair. Um, and then in order to take it off at the end of the night, you just soak the end of an alcohol swab in, I'm sorry, soak the end of a cotton swab in some alcohol and put it under there and kind of go across. That will loosen it up without actually ruining your own hair or your skin. So it'll it'll dissolve it for you. But I do recommend you do that because uh, this does move quite a bit back and forth. Uh, it is, again, it's only attached via clips. So uh, if you are gonna go all, all day, I definitely recommend that you use the wig tape to make sure that it lays flat. I didn't do that because I am gonna take it off to show you the inside. And I wanted to be able to take that off easily for you. But usually, and what I did earlier this morning, I had it taped. Did it move? I uh, looked very natural. Couldn't tell that I was wearing anything. So real quick, I'm going to take it off for you. Um, and you got to see what my bio hair actually looks like in case you are also experiencing hair loss. So it does have five clips um, as a normal standard John Renault would. Um, actually, this one has a sixth clip, but I have removed that one. Um, generally, toppers come with clips here here and here in the back. Uh, this one has another clip right here. Uh, I don't actually use that clip because as you'll see, my hair loss is from andro androgenic alopecia, which means that my hair all around here is what I'm losing. So I don't have a lot of hair right here. Um, so unfortunately it was really painful for me to try and clip that clip. So I actually just removed it. Um, and you'll see that that's what's already in the plan from John Renault. So when you do have these clips, just kind of be very careful with your own hair. You don't want to rip your hair out. 
So just be very careful when you're taking it off at the end of the night. There we go. As you can see, my hair loss is all right here. So it didn't really have a lot of hair for it to clip into. Um, and it would end up doing more damage than good. So let's take a look at the inside of the cap. So here's the cap. Um, it has, we used to have the sixth one right here, but I actually, like I said, um, as you can tell, if I can get out of the sun, um, I cut the threads there and that's on purpose. They actually make it so that you can do that. So if you see here in this one, there's four points where the threads are attached. You just simply uh, get an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors and very carefully cut that off and you can remove that sixth clip if you want to. If you have a lot of hair, by all means leave it. It'll help keep that front secure for you. But this is the lace front. This is genre's smart lace. It already comes pre-cut for you. Um, it's a fantastic lace front. It's very uh, pale, so it's going to match with pretty much all skin types. So you have your, your sixth clip here in the front, which I removed, your clips here on the side, and I'm so sorry that sun's getting you, but this is the natural light that I have. Then you have your two clips on the side in the back portion of your hair. And then down here at the bottom, you have your last clip all the way in the back. This is the monofilament parting system that I told you about. You can part it any way you wish. I, tip, I typically put mine in the middle just for what works for me. Um, it does come with a part on the left hand side here. Um, and if you do want to change that, you're gonna have to uh, probably use some steam or something to get it to lay right. I still need to do that with mine, so that's why it kept falling in my face. So, uh, when you go to put this on, first thing I do, of course, you're gonna use uh, your wig tape if you are using that. Just cut off a little section. And what I do is I stick them here and here about one to two inches from the middle of my part and so it'll land right here on my forehead you don't want to get them in my bio hair it hurts trust me so what you do from there um, once you have the wig tape on you'll simply put it on your head right approximately where you want it to be part it to where you can see it and get it right where the hairline is that you want it and then you're going to hold that very secure and proceed to clip these clips into your bio hair. So you're going to scoop it under and then push down on either side until you hear it click. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Grab your bio hair underneath, scoop it under your bio hair, push on either side until you hear it click. You're just gonna repeat that process for each one. You'll get really fast at it. Um, if it starts to pull or snag, don't live with that. Readjust it. You don't want to put a lot of tension on your hair, um, especially if you are experiencing hair loss. The last thing you want is to put more tension on your hair. So once you have it, use a wide tooth comb. John Renault makes one. I don't find any difference between a John Renault comb or this particular comb, uh, so I didn't waste the money. I already had one. Um, use a wide tooth comb and you want to do that because using a paddle brush on synthetic hair can create a lot of flyaways, um, can cause breakage. You don't want to do that. Um, you want to keep the hair that you paid money for as nice as possible for as long as possible. So just use a wide tooth comb, integrate your own bio hair in there. And there you go. Um, I'll go ahead and quickly turn around for you. So that's the topper. Uh, like I said, this is the 12 inch version. I, I personally love it a lot. I had a 18 inch version from John Renault, the top secret that didn't have the smart lace and it came to do about right here when my hair was longer. Um, I found that the longer fibers do tangle more when they're synthetic. They also tend to clump up so you can tell the difference right away between what's real hair and what's synthetic hair, probably after about 30 minutes to an hour of wearing it. I've worn this all day and I, it still looks great. Um, it's not clumping, it's not tangling. I don't know if that's a new fiber by John Renault or if this is simply just because of the length. Um, 
it hasn't tangled, it hasn't given me any problems. So again, I definitely recommend it. This again, in case you're wanting it, is the Toffee Truffle, and that's the code there, FS6 slash 30 slash 27. Um, and you can order that in both a 12 inch and an 18 inch topper. Um, it's great for people like me that has to bring it all the way to the front. So I really hope this was an educational tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And if you want to know where you can purchase this, just sort of Google search. Uh, but I personally order mine through Wig Studio One. That's W I G Studio, and then the number one dot com. Uh, there is a code that I'll put in the link below called beautiful you all one word and that'll give you 30% off. Um, it's still in, it still works today. 30% um, off your entire order. I got this one for I think 189 and that included the shipping um, after, after the coupon. Um, so yeah, a uh, great price, great piece. I, I personally think it looks better than any topper that I've currently tried and I've tried quite a few. So um, I hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Thank you.